Hi everyone, welcome to An Academy Neat English. It's me, your biology educator Ambika Sharma. And today, right now, I'm going to share something very disappointing with you. Why am I saying that it is something very disappointing? Because I just got to know, and it is an official update that in the Assam, the uh, you know government is planning to start the counselling process. Yes, yes, yes. You heard me right. They are planning, right? They are planning to start the counselling process. This is the official notice related to it. It means they are the NTA is not. Not considering the request of re neat, we are very sorry for that. Right? Again, right? In my previous videos also, you guys have seen that again and again I was repeating one thing that my agenda is not to uh, that students should have uh, the the re examination should be there. No, it is not the thing that I wanted. But I uh, I was I, I was just requesting. Right? We all teachers, we students, we were requesting. We we are requesting NTA to provide us the the authentic right result right there are we all have noticed that there are so many discrepancies in the neat result and even when they conducted the examination so many discrepancies were there right especially in the northeast where different question papers were provided to the students in vigilators they delayed the paper by 30 minutes by 45 minutes but we didn't get any reply from nta side right but still after all that result thing 67 students are getting 720 out of 720 right uh, basically 15 students air one what from one center they are getting air one and there are a lot of questions related to the need examination but after all that after all that this is what we are we're getting this is what we are getting and it is an official notice from government of assam office of the director of medical education assam and this education notice is for admission into first year mbbs bds courses in the government medical and dental college of assam for the session 2024 so here they have mentioned special quota claim as well that applications are invited from candidates seeking admission into first year mbbs bds courses in the government medical and dental college of assam session 2024 under special Special quota, right? The application form for the above mentioned special quota will be available in this office, right? They have given the website, and we have a student. They need to fill it with all the relevant documents, right? And it must be submitted of the office of undersigned on or before or uh, from uh, 14th of June, uh, June during office hour by hand. So you guys can see it is something for the, right? It is something related to the counselling. So basically, if in one state, right? we can see something like this so we don't know when are they going to right when are they going to release the counseling uh, update right maybe within day or two they'll start the counseling as well you know that today itself right few hours back we got the press release from the neat side as well right Vazim sir, uh, Vazim sir talked about it so see there as per that queries, what they have mentioned, see cutoff of NEET UG 2024. So they are saying that cutoff scores are determined based on the overall performance of candidates each year. The increase in cutoff reflects the competitive nature of the examination and the higher performance, standard, performance standards achieved by the candidates this year. Is it so? I don't have any answer for it. Then cutoff and average marks of qualified candidate vary each year as illustrated. Fine. Compensatory marks for loss of time. I think you should hear this. Few writ petitions were filed by the candidates of NEET UG 2024 before the Honorable High Court of Punjab and Haryana, Delhi and Chhattisgarh raising concerns of loss of exam time during the conduct of NEET UG at few exam centers. But if I am aware that even in North in uh, East, my few students of mine, they shared me that... Uh, you know newspaper cuttings they shared me that link for the news and where uh, you know parents uh, it was in that uh, newspaper it was mentioned that parents they filed a case right they they registered a complaint all that things were there but here we cannot see anything like this now the concerns raised by the candidates through the writ petition and representation submitted to nta required careful consideration for redressal therefore a grievance redressal committee consisting of eminent experts from the field of examination and academia was constituted to look into such grievances and to submit its recommendations so basically they made a committee and uh, as per that writ right they considered that that okay fine loss of time was there and we need to compensate that so i think they consider uh, they consider such thing in these states only because they got the red petition maybe they didn't get any red petition from uh, you know some 
side yeah you can say that from that northeast part from manipur meghalaya they didn't get it that's why they didn't consider it now let's move to the next part so committee considered the grievances on the basis of factual reports of the functionaries and cctv footage from the concerned exam center right bache so loss of exam time was ascertained and such candidates were compensated with marks based on their answering efficiency and time lost so basically they applied a formula of normalization there and as per that they just provided them the right uh, the grace marks okay now when it comes to toppers in neat ug 2024 the number of candidates who appeared in 2023 was approximately 20 lakh 20 lakh plus while the number in 2024 is increased to 23 lakhs 33297 as per this so increase in candidates naturally led to an increase in high score due to larger pool of candidates but still they are not talking about the level of their paper right they are not talking about the things that happened in other states okay from where they got the red petition so they are saying that we applied the normalization and as per that students got the grace mark very good very good ha huh? so nta received 13373 challenges to the provisional answer key of one question in physics right so due to the difference in old and new edition of ncert textbook so subject experts held that two options be taken as correct in place of one option again i have one point that uh, uh, don't you think it is also there also a blunder that in new ncert in old ncert things are different and even the syllabus it is not same like new ncert right sometimes students they need to open the old ncert sometimes they need to open the new ncert what is this right but still again we cannot raise any question here now next is out of 67 students who got 720 out of 720 marks 44 are on account of the revision in one answer key of physics and six are on account of compensatory marks for the loss of time so basically right because of that revised answer key right more and more students they got such marks wow this is what they are trying to say so declaration of results on four and transparency in the examination process so as per the practice the result of nta examination including neat is declared at earliest on the comp on the completion of necessary checks so basically here they have mentioned that uh, you know the result of je 2024 was declared in 11 days and of session 2 combined with session 1 was declared in 15 days so they are saying ki we have released the result in uh, you know 30 days that's not a big deal we have done it already okay we have done it already so basically whatever you know allegations we are putting that they are all false this is what nda is trying to say so ultimately i don't i'm not here right i'm not here to read this notice for you i'm here right and i want to convey something very genuine students right i don't know what is going to happen okay i know at this point of time it is very disappointing for you to Today itself, I posted one video on our channel that I don't know are they going to consider this request, right? Are they going to provide the result again? I don't know about it. But one thing that I know is that your mental health. And at this point of time, I know it is devastated. Okay, and I'm just concerned about it. I'm just concerned about it. I know you guys can again say that why me? Why me? Every student must be thinking why me? Why in this year this all that things happened? Why? 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 But. we don't have any answer for it so at this point of time i can just suggest you one thing and that is please decide something and right? this is the only suggestion that i can give you right now and please 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 it is for the parents as well stop comparing your children with others right at this point of time even if they have scored marks above 550 right even if they have scored marks above 6 uh, like 600 means it's a good score it's just that this year the cut offs are really 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 very high right they tried their best they tried their best but we can't say anything about it okay we can't say anything about it so at this point of time this is the only thing that i want to suggest you guys and that is please decide something right you want to quit this please go for it it's it should be your decision but not at this point of time give yourself some time sit relax talk to your parents talk to someone who can guide you properly and then decide this is the first advice second thing is that students if you are not uh let's say if your score is less right if you are scoring less than 580 less than 550 then what do you want to do if you are thinking that this thing can happen again yes possibility is there if you are thinking that next year competition very will be very high should i go for it or not again yes this thing can happen but if you are still clear that that one seat is mine i'm going to give my best then go for it it should be your choice don't don't do anything under pressure it should be your choice only literally it should be your choice and again again no doubt they have provided an answer for it but still i feel that it is not something valid it is not right 
at this point of time right where students they are troubled they are talking about it and they are releasing the notice for the counseling i think this is literally not acceptable literally not acceptable and uh, you know there should be a proper press conference where the uh, uh, whosoever the authorities they should come forward and they need to talk about it right at least it's their duty right to calm students it's their duty to tell them that actually this happened and this result is genuine if it is genuine now then please come forward right this notice is not sufficient i think there should be a press conference right they should cater the students question and then only then they can decide they want to go for this exam or not right we always say that when it comes to the medical edu uh, education in india it is the best and definitely it is the best but if things like this will happen then definitely more and more students will go to the foreign country which is again not good for our country okay so students at this point of time all i can say is please 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 have some patience please have some patience give yourself at least one week and decide what you want to do right please do not dishearten i know for me it's very easy to say but trust me many students of mine are also suffering right i can understand that pain i literally can understand that pain but it's a humble request it's a humble request please still life is beyond any examination life is literally beyond any examination it's just a phase it will pass you stay strong okay so all the best take care guys